Hi everyone, welcome to a new DIY video. Um, I actually filmed this two weeks ago and I only got around to filming the intro today because a lot happened. Anyway, long story. Um, this DIY is something that I wanted to do for I think about two or three months. I saw this sweater by the Danish brand Gani. I will insert it here and I became obsessed with it. You know, I've been really into like the big colors. You can see that it's becoming a really, really big trend, but I just love the mix of that big color in contrast with the knit and I loved it so much. However, I really wanted to do something as similar as possible and it took me a very, very long time to find a cardigan that would match and I also wanted to do a vintage cardigan. I didn't want to just go buy one from the high street and, and put a color in it. I really wanted to like, you know, make the effort and try find something vintage because I, I'm i very into now upcycling and just reusing stuff that it's already out there to try be more sustainable. Anyway, um, I finally found the cardigan. It is not as long as the original, but we're just gonna have to make do with it. I think it's really, really perfect. It was a little bit more complicated than I expected, but you're gonna see that on the video. And I really hope you like the result, and I promise you that I will try not to take this long for the next DIY, so let's just get straight into it. <laughs> to make this color obviously I have the sweater here I bought this vintage in a store in Amsterdam I have the fabric here I have some pins I have scissors and I have the paper okay so I've never made this before so I am going to basically yellow it what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try trace the the length of the neck on that well the shape basically I'm trying to figure out how to make that and there's probably an easier way so I mean I'm just trying to figure out my own way, okay? <laughs> so I'm complicating it a lot in my head, but what I grabbed is a piece of pattern paper because it's actually quite soft. If you don't have pattern paper, you can just use any paper, even baking paper, that would be good. And I put it inside the collar and then I marked where the middle was and then kind of, I started creating the shape of it, just going down. To create an outline on this paper to create a pattern but so you can see like this kind of fits like a puzzle okay so i got this this is basically my curve from laying down i created like a negative pattern from putting the the sweater down and tracing the lines from the middle to the neck so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna put it on a bit thicker paper and then I'm gonna trace the line to create a better pattern. Okay, so I have the inside part of my pattern. So now I need to create the, the shape basically from the color and I reckon I'm going to do it 10 centimeters just going all around it and then closing in here and create kind of like the little V shape over here. Okay, so after much uh, confusion, <laughs> I finally have the color. I'm going to obviously cut this on around. I did this, I don't know why. Ignore this. So let's cut the pattern. Looking out, and then we're just gonna 
leave them over here for a bit. And now we're going to create the little ruffles that are gonna go on the edge of the collar. Okay, so for the ruffles, um, I need to create a really long rectangle. Depending on how big I want my ruffles to be, I reckon I want them to be a bit like around like this. So that's three, maybe two and a half. So I'm gonna do uh, five and a half, five and a half centimeter of um, rectangle, and then cut a few, and then like cut them on one big stripe, so then I can actually scrunch them and then make them a little bit ruffly. that I'm gonna use for the ruffle and I basically sew like one and 170 so 1 meter 70 centimeters 170 centimeters and I'm going to fold it and iron it so that I can get it already kind of um, in place Boom. okay so this part is where I'm going to create the little wave or the pleat I guess so I'm gonna do it with a very, very wide stitch so that it's like not so tight and I can actually pull it, but you have to pull it really carefully. So now I'm just gonna go through the entire thing and hope that it's gonna work as it's in my mind. We're gonna grab one of the threads and we're gonna start pulling. Okay, so now that I have the ruffles, I'm going to pin them all around this area and I'm going to put this on top so that I can stitch all around on the inside. Okay, so now that I have the ruffles pinned on the inside, I created this uh, four pieces because I have to attach the color into the sweater somehow. So I thought I would put this in like this two and this two places. So when I turn it around, I can button two buttons in the back and two buttons in the front and I can just like basically deattach the color as I, as I want. Okay, so we have the color here and it's the moment of truth and see if it actually works. I'm gonna turn it inside out, but I have to figure out how to do it so that it'll rip it. Yeah, they know the love. 